So if you're wondering when are my new videos going to appear on my NLP and hypnotherapy channel, I'm currently editing one right now. However, there's one other video which will be the last one that I will share for my generic YouTube page and that's about how I got into NLP and hypnotherapy. From this video on, all videos on the NLP and hypnotherapy page will be dedicated to NLP personal growth and there'll be new stuff that you haven't seen before. Most of them won't be shared on my other channel. But this, to start off with, tells me about my journey. Hello everyone. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself and it's not a story I usually get to say to people, but I feel if it might help someone else, even just one person, then I'd go ahead and say it. You might have heard a video that I put on which was part of a live talk, and I originally became interested in NLP because I had this fear of ejection. At the time I really wanted to get into radio broadcasting and nightclub DJing. And I was always held back because I was always very fearful that the person who I would write to would be either just screwing up the letter or deleting the email. And I felt even worse when I was to chase up the manager, say of the nightclub, thinking that they would say very crossly that they were very busy and what on earth was I doing trying to get myself into that nightclub me an unknown and possibly with some swearing thrown in as well. So I got interested in NLP and I started moving my life forward and to cut a very long story short it ended up being something that I became very passionate about helping people and my confidence really grew. However there was always this part of me that I held back for such a long time and really the talk which was done around a year ago was really at the beginning of me making those changes with inside myself because I was somebody who always wanted to go along with the crowd and not actually say my true authentic voice what I felt I had to say in the situation if I ever felt somebody was treating me unfairly I would never say because I was fearful of rocking the boat and them either not being friends with me anymore or that I was also very fearful about hurting that person. However, doing that for years I lost what's called in NLP my own identity and I find that somebody actually asked me a question which when they said that it, it suddenly just triggered off me thinking you know they they are so right and that was would you rather be liked or would you rather be respected? Being both would be great. But just by going along the crowd and not being respected, that's just awful. That, that just does something to your inside and literally makes you die inside. And if you keep doing those things like I was doing it over and over again, it affects your self-esteem. But it was saying I was always building myself up with NLP and it was something, that side of myself, that I keep putting sand back over that part of me that I didn't like and just work on the bits I really like, making myself really confident whereas I was still always going along with the crowd. So I've decided to make those changes. One of the things that has really helped me and I'm actually doing a workshop on is posture. Is actually standing a lot more confidently, breathing a lot more confidently, holding myself a lot more confidently and if you haven't seen one of Amy Cuddy's talks on YouTube I highly recommend you do that. She's also got a wonderful book out and I'm not in any way plugging it at all um, but just go ahead and look at that video and start with your posture because you end up reverse wiring because a lot of people who are feeling down will look down but also as well if you're feeling down but you pull yourself up that makes you feel a lot better and Amy Cully does go into a lot more detail than I have. To do that and I found what was helpful for me is not to just burst in and become I'm now just vocalizing all my opinions all the time it was just taking those small steps those very small baby steps by maybe just saying one or two things and feeling the fear as Susan Jeffers said feeling the fear and doing it anyway 
And by doing that, that was slowly allowing the fear to disappear from me. Each and every time I said something, it made me feel a lot better. So take some baby steps and focus on one thing at a time. If there's something within your personality you feel you like to change, as I said, it's always good just to be yourself and to be and that change that you want to be, not because others want you to be that change. It's just to work slowly and work at one thing at a time. Find one thing, if you're really struggling, one thing in your life that you want to change. And I like the metaphor of a magnifying glass. So if you want to set fire to a piece of paper, you don't hold the magnifying glass like out where there's just this big circle of the sun's rays. So what you do when you've got a magnifying glass and you're trying to set light to a piece of paper via the sun is to just hold it and get that focus just right. So find one part of one part of yourself that you want to change and make better and just focus on that and gradually and slowly start increasing the effort. I remember once, now I never talk about my clients, but what I do, I talk about a situation with a client that is very similar and say it's a client. But this client was a female that wanted to start her own painting and she built a shed for herself and she filled the shed up with all the canvases, all the paint she could possibly need. So what I decided to do is that she felt so overwhelmed with everything that she wasn't even getting started. So what I recommended she did was just to go in, pick up a brush, choose one of her favourite colours and just do a couple of strokes on the canvas and leave it. And from doing that, that started a new habit pattern of her actually being used to picking up the brush, making a few strokes and moving her life forward. So you can do that as well. You can just make some very small baby steps. Maybe it's voicing something and posting something that you believe about, as long as it's nothing too crazy, <laughs> but something you feel passionate about on social media. Or maybe it might be just to say that you know you didn't like the way somebody treated you. Remember that respect is always mutual. So you have to respect yourself first and also respect other people's views. So that doesn't mean when I'm talking that you just go off and go, well, no, 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 you're wrong. Because each and every single one of us will have our own maps. But it's these maps that we have that define who we are. As long as you respect other people's maps and your own, you can reach that mutual benefit and move forward in a very positive way. So out of this, longer video than I was intending it to be is just to identify one area of your life where you want to move forward and in that one area of your life where you want to move forward just make one small change each and every day just slowly building on that change and what that does there's a part in the brain that doesn't like change because it hardwires ourselves so it just becomes easier like you don't have to keep thinking of how you tie your shoelace up or how you put on your clothes so because of that the brain becomes hardwired but if you can introduce small bits of changes the brain doesn't actually recognize it as change then eventually the new habit pattern you want to create will become easier and easier now they say it takes around 21 days to change a habit. I kind of believe that but more recently I know there's so many people out there that it needs to be a lot longer. So just believe in yourself, keep making those small changes every day. And if you do that, this time next year, if you really stick to it, your life will be so much better. Thank you for watching. You can find more about myself on my website, Paul Goddard, NLP. .co.uk The video you'll see next in list is about confidence and how your posture can shape the way you think and feel about yourself.